All right. So good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. I'm Bobby Stills from Converge Media. Uh, first of all, will you guys just go ahead and uh, introduce yourself? Keenan, can you go first? Yeah, sure, Bobby. Uh, my name is Keenan Harris. I am the Senior Multicultural Marketing Manager uh, for Jack Daniels for the United States and Canada. And I'm Derek Jeffries, a uh, Seattle bartender, um, born and raised in Seattle, and one of the first of the inaugural culture shakers. Um, now, I happen to know Derek already. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty well known around the bar scene here in, in Seattle, Washington, so we've ran across each other a couple of times. Uh, but, Keenan, can you tell me a little bit about the about the Jack Daniel Cultural Shakers program? It's the inaugural year, so, of course, a lot of people out there aren't going to know exactly what it is. So can you explain to the audience about uh, what the program actually consists of? Yeah, sure, sure, and uh, definitely excited to to speak to you guys in regards to the Gentleman Jack Culture Shakers program. Um, as you stated, I mean, this is the inaugural year of the particular program, and uh, it really just serves to highlight and amplify multicultural bartenders um, ar around the country. You know, in this first year, we've actually selected six bartenders. Um, the cities are Atlanta, Chicago, Detroit, Miami, New York, and Seattle. Um, and they're ultimately going to showcase their craft um, by paying homage to some historical industry trailblazers, um, and really just drawing some inspiration from their roots, you know, and, and, and truly their culture in regards to the art of mixology. So um, excited to really kick this program off. It's, it's, it has multiple layers and components to it where the bartenders have, have filmed, uh, you know, have filmed in their, in their hometowns. They've also gone to, uh, on a collective group trip to the Jack Daniels uh, Distillery. And uh, in essence, we're putting together a, uh, a, a short film, which is a collective film with all the bartenders. And then each of the bartenders also um, has their own individual short film highlighting uh, their plight in their individual city. Um, so when, um, when, are those, uh, when are those documentaries or those shorts actually coming out? Yeah, so they're launching at the very beginning of, uh, of January. We are we are starting with some um, some private viewing events um, starting this week actually um, for all the particular bartenders to, to highlight their films and to to uh, you know to show the program to their their family and friends and local influencers. But then the uh, program will go national on um, beginning of January. That uh, that that short film, the collective short film, will be able to be viewed on gentlemanjack.com. Um, in addition to the uh, to the short short films of each of the individual bartenders, and then we'll have a national media campaign, which rolls out um, in the months of January and February, highlighting those films. Now, um, now, how, how was the selection process for each of each of the candidates, you know, the people that actually won, and what were the actual qualifications uh, for being selected? Yeah, so uh, in regards to that process, we, we definitely leaned on our local teams a significant amount um, to, to put together the slate of the bartenders that they felt really exemplified being a culture shaker um, in their key markets. So once they narrowed that down to some folks that they thought were, were ideal for the program, um, these bartenders actually submitted a, uh, an application um, to be part of the program. We reviewed that um, um, from a Gentleman Jack standpoint in regards to uh, also working with our creative agency to figure out who were the, the right bartenders to be featured um, in the particular program. So, you know, the qualifications in essence were to, to basically be a bartender, which, uh, you know, I believe worked you know, 20 hours per week in the bartending trade and Clearly, we know during COVID-19, that's been a, been a true challenge, so I've had to make some adjustments there. But uh, to truly be a, to, you know, a, a bartender, be over, over 21 and, and uh, be willing to you know, be part of uh, the films and go through this journey with us, you know, truly, as stated, you know, they, they've done local filming, they have done uh, group filming, they've taken trips to the distillery. So it's been a, been a long time coming for this to come to fruition. Uh, now, on behalf of Jack Daniels, you know, what, what's the aim of this program? You know, what's the, what's the end goal of this program? Yeah, I say the end goal of this program is really just to, to, to highlight and amplify, um, you know, uh, black and, and Hispanic voices in the uh, in the trade industry. You know, our, our research has showed that um, the multicultural bartender has truly been underserved when it comes to uh, to the to the spirits industry and come to the bar industry. So, you know, we wanted to make sure that we allow them to tell their story, show how important it is, um, you know, in being a bartender, being a mixologist, digging into the history of the craft and the present and the future. So for us, it's really, um, you know, telling the stories, amplifying black voices, amplifying Hispanic voices um, and what they do. So ex excited to bring this to life uh, using our platform. All right, uh, Derek. So you got the, you know, you, you won. You, I think <laughs> Derek, Derek has the first film being uh, uh, premiered on Friday, correct? Correct. He is. Uh, he is the first. Um, and you got to you, you got to go to, uh, to Jack Daniels, right? That's correct. That's correct. How was how was your trip? 
What did you guys uh, get to do? Tell us a little bit about the trip. That was amazing. Um, definitely a one of a kind experience. Um, we got to a you know as soon as we landed, meeting the other bartenders from all over uh, the country, and it took minutes to make a bond. It was like you once you meet one bartender, you meet another bartender. Like yeah, you just click, and so um, go to the distillery and stayed in. You know, wonderful um, accommodations at the distillery, these um, personalized um, Jack Daniels uh, Airstreams. And then it was this full immersion of the Jack Daniels experience. All right. So, you know, when you were selected, you know, how did, how did, how were you contacted? And what does this actually mean to you to be contacted by, by Jack Daniels <laughs> and let known? I mean, it's the inaugural year. Of yeah. this is the first, you know, it's the first time it's happening. I'm sure this is going to be a longstanding program within, uh, you know, on Jack Daniels, uh, you know, website and within their program, their bartending program. So tell exactly. me, tell me how you're contacted and, and you know how it made you feel. Uh, so I was contacted by um, the local team here in Seattle, and they reached out, wanted to know a, you know. You're a very, you know, influential um, bartender here in Seattle um, that represents the you know, Black slash um, Latin community, and they wanted to know what my thoughts were with a gentleman Jack and Jack Daniels, and then how I felt with um, showcasing just you know my personality with um, the cocktail culture. All right, and then uh, you had to come up with a uh, you had to come up with a cocktail. Uh, will you tell us a little I, bit about the cocktail? I did, I did. So my cocktail is uh, Two Gentlemen in Verona. And basically, it's a play on a Manhattan. Um, a Manhattan is one of my favorite cocktails to make just the original that we know, which is um, a simple cocktail of 212, um, just like the area code of downtown Manhattan. But I wanted to do something that sort of highlighted the play of um, unique spices and flavors that you get in Gentleman Jack. So you get like this nice toffee and vanilla and then some herbal spices. So I came up with this lovely cocktail. Uh, you got you got any stories behind the drink, behind the cocktail, behind the name? I know like, you know, I've been involved with, uh, you know, uh, crafting cocktails and stuff before. <laughs> but I know the easy part is making cocktails, but one of the it's hardest true. parts is actually naming the cocktails. So you can so, make a delicious cocktail, but the name has got to be... Yeah, the, the name kind of came first. Um, the name is sort of inspired by a story of two um, gentlemen that basically have the same outlook on a thought, a process, uh, you know, a person like a woman, um, and how to take those two people that are friends but put them in the same room around the same person and not have them basically compete or argue. And so that's how my cocktail came about is I'm taking two very big components like vermouth and a gentian liqueur and put them in, into a cocktail where they basically enhance each other. Now, Keenan, uh, if people want to find out more information about this program, uh, educate themselves, um, you know, how can they how can they uh, find out this information? Yeah, everything will be uh, be housed at the landing page at gentlemanjack.com um, beginning on January 1st. So again, we're doing all the uh, the private viewings now to give uh, give our culture shakers mm -hmm. and uh, everyone else the first looks at the, at the films. And then uh, as of January 1st, go to gentlemanjack.com. You'll be able to see the full film. You'll be able to see um, highlights on the bartenders, uh, their individual films, the, the you know, er everything will be housed there. All right, Derek. Uh... How can people get a hold of you? They want to come see you. Want to get a cocktail from you? Do you want to, you know, promote anything? Uh, they can find me just on social media um, at I Z D R O C um, or on Facebook. All right, gentlemen. Uh, here at Converge, we'd like to thank you. We'd like to thank Gentleman Jack for uh, starting this new program, and uh, we look forward to trying out those cocktails. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. You're welcome.